Are you scared of pan frying fish? Worry no more. In today's video, I'll teach you all you need to know so you can pan fry fish with confidence. The keywords here are high heat and patience. Now let's go. First of all, like everything else you cook, the quality of the ingredients are an important factor. Buy a proper piece of fish, and unless you shop at a very high-end supermarket, I recommend giving your local fishmonger a visit. I've gone with some Atlantic cod, but any fish will do. Also, don't be scared of the skin. If done properly, it only adds to the experience. If not done already, portion your fish. Remember to use a sharp knife for this to avoid tearing the meat. And there you have it, two beautiful pieces of cod. Fish can have a slimy touch, which is only a sign of freshness. Using some paper towel, try to scrub this off and pat the meat dry. Now salt your fish generously on all sides. And that's it. Now we're ready to cook our fish. When frying fish, the most important thing is to start out at a very high heat. Once you've placed your fish in the pan, press it down for around 10 seconds. Then turn your heat down to a medium heat. Don't touch the fish from now on, except from pressing down on it once in a while. You want to cook fish mostly on the skin side. You can use the changing opacity of the meat to know when it's time to flip the fish. As you can see, I'm also frying some oyster mushrooms for garnish. When the fish is almost cooked entirely, you flip it and cook it for a couple of minutes on the meat side. Cooking it this way ensures that you have the most time possible for crisping up the skin. And this way, the fish will never stick to the pan. Fish is a very delicate meat, and cooking it is all about trusting the process. If you start moving the fish around prematurely, or flipping it before it's ready, it will stick to the pan and create a horrible mess. As you can see, the fish is almost cooked through now. This means it's time to flip. The fish will release from the pan easily, because we followed the rules explained earlier. Now finish the cooking on the meat side. And there you have it. A perfect piece of fried cod. Now while I prepare some garnish and some mashed potatoes with a lot of black pepper to go with the fish, I would like to thank you for watching and encourage you to like and subscribe if you found this helpful and want more of this content. I wish you good luck on your future fish frying adventures. Take care, and I'll see you next time.